Good morning. How's everyone doing? Well, it's cold today. Oh, uncomfortably cold. Morning stretch. Yeah. <clears throat> it's so cold. Brr, it was just like three degrees. Not nice. Not nice at all. <clears throat> Good morning, Orby. How's it going? How are you today? Hey, Kuru. Zealin. I hope everyone is doing fine. Hey, Pie Master. Oof. Some hot coffee. Sayert. Good morning. Yeah, I'm good, thanks you, Orby. I'm um, eagerly awaiting the results of my um, my son is like in math Olympics um, see how that goes for him but he uh, he won first part so let's see if he he has that thing today or tomorrow the thing uh, hey Marit good morning captain jet lag oh, fantastic captain jet lag is in the fold all right, how about throwing me some topics and let's get this ball rolling. Thanks, Orby. No VR art and sea glass. Thanks for the host. It is highly appreciated. By the way, whoever's using a Cintiq, I can't recommend more than uh, to have a microcloth and wipe your screen every time you're about to paint to remove the dust from the screen otherwise you'll be scraping slowly but surely lines in your screen hey Eric Moy wow say art that is one crazy topic uh, glow worm forest keeper that sounds pretty cool Space Admiral, that's pretty cool too. So we got three topics. We need three more. Then we're rolling. Hey again, General Jumalon. <laughs> Thanks for the host. That's such a weird name. That's one of those like nicknames you gotta hear. Hey good morning, Lurib. We got three topics, we need three more. Throw him at me. Haunted fairy. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So we got four. Two more. Cyberpunk hover bike rider. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see. We got five. Oh, we got six. Let's 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 do it. It's number four. Obviously rigged. So that is one, two, three, four. Eric Moy's Haunted Fairy. Hey, Kuiba. Coldberger Art, thanks for the host. Okay, Haunted Fairy. Let's um <laughs> get the jet lag. I know, right? It's crazy how many times it's number four. Okay. Hey dear Bard, good morning. Glad that you could make it almost in time. Right, so let's uh, go. Time is rolling. Uh, haunted fairy, haunted fairy, haunted fairy. Haunted, that means ghost. Fairy means kind of wood sprite. Um, hmm. Okay. I don't really know. I don't. 
one picture I had was like the ring, but as a wood sprite. But I'm thinking I don't know. This is gonna be some weird, weird drawing today. I'm going for kind of like um, I don't know really what's in my head. My head it jumps between pictures. One version I see is is like a zombie or a or a the ring type wood sprite. The other one I see as a, like an infested. But as soon as I go to the infested, I go, ah, that's not a good idea. That's not going to be haunted. Uh, so I think I'll go with with just kind of pale. Pale, strange wood sprite. Oh, Lurib, that is a that is a great morning call. I love that. Last summer we had a car outside, um, which had uh, an alarm on, and the alarm wasn't just one kind of signal. It had like five, six of them. And they were all cyc he would this car was cycling through them all constantly. That was really fun. Hey Pol rope thirteen polo count and TMH Lava, thanks for the host. <laughs> yeah, Captain Jet like that. That sounds also like a really, really fun. My mornings are always the same. Um, my daughter uh, wakes up before us and uh, goes out of her room and wants to go and uh, play with uh, like books with buttons and stuff that makes noise, or she wants to go uh, chase the cat. So as always, you gotta like run after her in a way. I know, but what can you do for school? School days, you know, the kids are up. You gotta get, you gotta get up. There's no time to do anything else but get them ready and give them breakfast and get dressed and all those fun things. Hey, Mr. Panka, welcome back. <laughs> there, Bard. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a that's a good way of of waking up as well. Worst is is uh, I think what I I had a flat uh, once uh, where um, the fire alarm, like building wide fire alarm, would go off. At random points during the night and day, and you you were never um, you were never ready for it, and it was so loud, and it was like ear numbingly loud, and uh, because it was alarming, you had to go out and clear the house, so you could be like all of a sudden going out in the middle of the night on the road. Just because there was a fire, you know. Well, there was never was a fire, but it was always warning about fire because uh, at this time it was in UK and we lived close to uh, like fish and chips, and I guess they they triggered the alarm or something constantly, and, or the alarm was broken. I don't know what was what, what was what with that place, but we needless to say we didn't live there for very long. We moved. Uh, but it was such a stressful period. I remember, like, I gained shitload of weight. Uh, like my 
my sleep cycle was completely broken because all of a sudden, like four in the morning, it could just be blasting in your ears this fire alarm. Hey, Hellraiser, good morning. Yeah, it's, it was horrible. It was a really cool place, but it was that fire alarm was doing a number on me. Horrible. Yeah, it wasn't very a lot of fun, no. But the place had a great view. It was by the sea, seaside, and uh, they had this a lot of massive windows, like two, two, th two to three meter tall windows, just kind of wallpapering the whole uh, full corner of the flat, and uh, all you could see was just sea. It was a great place, aesthetically. Like super pretty, uh, but that that kind of ruined it for us. We could we just couldn't stay there anymore. It was just too too crazy. And uh, downstairs we had a angry alcoholic neighbor that didn't like kids. So when my kid was kind of learning to walk and with a uh, aid, etc. He kind of now and then came up like all angry, like, I told you to be quiet, blah, blah, blah. And so many times I almost went into fist fights with him. I mean, I'm not that kind of guy, definitely not. Um, but it was definitely hanging in the air. Obviously, I, I wouldn't instigate it, but uh, he was really close of, of starting, you know, a fight. Yeah, that was a nice, nice neighbor. <laughs> oh no, Lurip, that sounds uh, uh, pleasurable. Hey, Schmeiz! Schweiz, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You just gotta go there more than once, that's definitely. And uh, the every time you go to museum and looking at the uh, old masters, um, you're gonna get go there with new baggage, new thoughts, new um, starting points. And you can always find something new, like in in anything, you can always find information and over and over again. But you can never get like cram all that in <laughs> in one visit it's, it's impossible it's impossible Captain jet lag well the thing with with I don't care about loudness I think what I care more is about you know honesty or or, or or um, being able to communicate with them. I mean, like our neighbors, um, they got a, like a teenage boy. Obviously, he should be allowed to have parties. I'm not going to be the guy that says like, "Ah, oh, you can't have any parties." But you know, like four in the morning, maybe they shouldn't be dancing upstairs and uh, playing loud music so you can't sleep, right? So that that becomes like a point where you have to talk to them about that. But if they listen and respect that, you know, that's cool. You know, of course, you should be able to have parties at four in the morning as well, but maybe lower the volume and stop dancing. So I'd rather have a cool neighbors that are loud because, you know, you have to extend that to others. I mean, you would like to do that at points as well. So you got to, you know, besides the kids are loud regardless. So. Uh, that's that's always going to be a part of it. But as long as the kids can sleep with the the neighbor's sound level, that's you know that's fine with me.
Oh, a Caravaggio. That's really cool. Yeah, I like Caravaggio. He's a. Uh, as far as I know, I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, Caravaggio taught Rembrandt light. But uh, I might be wrong. I'm no art nor in that sense. That's what I just kind of heard or, or read. I don't remember, but it's a bit of information that's stuck in my head. Yeah, I like going to museums. Um, it's really nice. Uh, nice feeling when you go to one if the exhibition is good I mean a lot of times it's just questionable at best but uh, w if it's done right it's really 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 uh, amazing Nice. That's really cool. Usually, one is not allowed uh, to take photos. It's great stuff. There is this. Um, I think I mentioned it before. This medical museum in London called the Hunterian. You're not allowed to take photos in there, but you can go and look at like bodies riddled with disease and skulls with teeth and all sorts of body parts. And it's really cool. I don't know really where it's at. I'm horrible with addresses and um, probably quite central. But again, I don't know. I don't really know the address. But if you if you Google the Hunterian, you'll um, definitely find it. It's a cool museum. They got lots of like baby skulls and uh, things like that. What what really was cool uh, to see is um, kid skulls um, with uh, both rows of teeth still in the cranium, so that you like you can see the second row of teeth up in the skull. It's really really weird. First time I saw it, like what? What kind of mutation is that? And then I quickly realized, like, oh, that's what everyone looks like. But it was uh, really cool to see. <coughs> Museums, uh, Captain Jetlag. There's this medical museum called the Hunterian. In London and uh, one of the tallest humans uh, his skeleton is in that museum as well like 2.7 meters or something and another guy um, who had this muscle disease that turned his uh, muscles into bones so it, um, you, you have the skeleton standing there and um, you can see like his uh, scapulas, uh, almost like dragon wings in a way, like going backwards because the muscles of the bone have turned to, uh, the muscles have turned into bone. Really, really weird. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> their board. Yeah, that, that's an interesting idea. Um, there is also in Prague, um, there's a church uh, on the topic of um, a pie master. There's a church in Prague where the whole cathedral is more or less in, uh, made out of human bones or decorated at least. Um, what it's called, I don't really remember at the moment, but I'm quite sure uh, Google will, will give you uh, results if you like Google Prague and like skeleton cathedral or skeleton church. I'm quite sure that you'll get some pretty good uh, hits with that. Their part, <laughs> yeah, or we just grow new ones. I think that would be even better. I don't know where I'm going with this one. Today is a weird day. I felt it starting this warm up. Doesn't make any sense, this drawing. Pie Master, yeah, it's a really interesting church. Really um, morbid. I think there was some lore about it, if I'm not mistaken, that like if you enter the church and you don't believe in 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 the baby Jesus, <laughs> you um, you become one of the skeletons in the church or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. But it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, definitely Coral. I'll give it wings. Um, this drawing today, man. Whatever. I'm quite sure something will come out of it at some point. Something is being thought of or processed or dealt with in my mind when doing this. <laughs> Um, Schmeis, if I ever do studies in a museum, yeah, I used to do that, definitely. What I used to do when I was like 18, uh, 17, was go to museum every weekend, um, or try to, and uh, draw statues, and, um, and later, in my later years, after that, sounds like I'm 80. Um, I used to go with my kids to the museum and do mental notes, but we used to go to the, this Hunterian, this medical museum with sketchbooks, because you're not allowed to take photos. Um, so what we used to do was just um, sketch it. It was used to be quite common that uh, a lot of concept artists went to that uh, museum. Uh, we used to be a, quite a big group of people doing that, maybe uh, eight, ten years ago, eight years ago, maybe a bit less. So I'm going for this haunted feel on some very carefully painted, I don't know what I'm doing. 
It became something. <laughs> weird ass drawing. Or weird ass painting, rather. It is what it is. That's cool, Rip. Yeah, you should go. Hey, Swenson Art. Welcome. Welcome to the party. To the weird painting today. I have really no idea where I'm going with it. But probably somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. Why not? It's good to try things so that you know what to do and what not to do. It's always like you can do your your moves, right? Your special go-to moves to uh, to help things on its way. <laughs> Some fixes, but I mean that that I think in a way that shows just the presentation to makes a painting or takes it a very long way. And if your presentation is bad doesn't matter how well you paint it, you know, it has to be the full full treatment, right? So even if on a bad day you could get better results than a complete failure if you just use some tricks. But it's the painting is still horrible. I just look at it and and cry on the inside. That's how it is. They're not all home runs. It's pretty cool color wise. Like that makes it way more gloomier. I kind of like those cars. How to get better at presentation? Yeah, I think um, you can, of course, look at what other people do. But I think what's most important is is um, that you just kind of think what is missing, and and I guess thinking about purpose, like how to get it where it needs to go, so that it's communicating what's missing. Like obviously, when I when I started doing the adjustments, it was just kind of pink mist, you know, stupid painting. Um, and now I'm just trying to push more mood and 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 colors and so on to make it more interesting to look at, higher, um, more difference in color. You know, trying focal point, uh, making the palette more complex, tiny little things like that. But, I mean, in a way, you can go and look at how other people do it. But uh, that's not necessarily the best way. Uh, I'd say one of the better ways is probably to try to push it 
your own way what you think is it's missing but of course you you don't if you don't know what to do you can't understand what's missing so by looking at what other people do to 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 help them push the presentation you can start kind of understanding what what you need to do as well in a way you know the technical aspect of uh, focal points lost and found edges and those kind of things isn't it a little bit golem like I think it's a little bit golem like let's see let's change up the smudge it's actually is it doing anything Well, it's doing something. It's taking a knee. Okay, let's take that one and increase the spacing and see what it does. Whoa! Let's remove spacing. All right. Let's go with that. Doing something. Something interesting is happening. Oh, I kind of like that. That's cool. I'm going to say that. It does weird stuff that I like. Hmm. Kind of breaks up things and. Kuru, yeah, yeah. I think with smudge smudge things, you gotta take off the uh, switch off spacing, or it's just gonna have too many counts uh, as of smudges because it has to repeat the smudge. This today is mixed bag, but it's fun to fun to warm up, anyways. Uh, some days when I'm having a great warm up, the day goes really bad, and some days when the warm up is great or bad, the day goes really well. <laughs> you never know. You never know how uh, what the warm up will do for you. Uh, and it's no indication at all of how your day is going to go. Uh, some days is like the warm up. I'm super energetic and and uh, and really like pumped to do art. And then as soon as the stream is over, and and some and you just get hit by this kind of low energy point, and and everything just kind of drags on the whole day. So we'll see. We'll see what this warm up does to the day. But it's fun. I kind of liked where it turned out. I liked the, the, the accidentally good uh, smudge brush thing there. Mess, made, made it a little bit dirty and, and odd, which I, which I liked. Which looked good. Remove some of those weird brush marks. All right, time's up. This is the crazy <laughs> whatever came out of that today. Um, this is very true, crew. A warm up is better than no warm up at all.
All right, people, uh, thanks a for coming. Thanks for the topic, Eric Mui. Uh, it was a good one. It was a good uh, exploration. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow morning. But uh, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, thanks for the support. Thanks for hanging out on Discord. Um, have a great one, and um, see you tomorrow. Bye.